Guys, DouglasCrabtree.com here, recording live from my bed, where I'm about to call it a night, but I had something on my mind I just wanted to talk to you about real quick, and uh, speaking of laying in bed, I just wanted to talk to you about something called laziness. Uh, the biggest thing that's going to keep you away from your dreams is the fact that you're lazy. A lot of people are lazy simply because they were trained to be lazy their entire life. That is uh, what the world has become, a lazy world. And it makes perfect sense why you'd be lazy because in America today uh, and for generations past, uh, it has been, uh, you really only think about um, <clears throat> not being lazy when you're looking for a job. Then when you find your job, you know when you're expected to clock in, when you're expected to clock out. And most people will only perform minimal amount of work in order to not get fired. And not because that's who they are on the inside, but that's what's become habitual. That's what's become the normal. So you got to keep in mind that uh, your habits are only good if they are making your life better. If your habits are keeping you uh, at the level you're at and you're not going anywhere, then your habits are only hurting you. If you're not growing, you're dying. Every moment you're not growing, getting better, getting faster, stronger, richer, whatever the case may be. Every moment you're not uh, increasing, you're decreasing, even if you're sitting still. Because time is going to move forward without you unless you move with it or ahead of it. So think ahead, plan ahead. Don't be lazy. Be proactive instead of reactive. That means when something happens, something crashes or something uh, goes either direction, you have already thought ahead, you've already planned ahead, you already have a team in place, you already have a mentality in place, you already have a reaction plan ready for that, or you already have something set up that completely takes care of it before it ever really became an issue. And think about that in terms of your finances. You can be lazy about your finances, or you can um, be proactive about your finances Think ahead what's coming up, what needs to be paid. Also, think about what needs to be made. You live the way you live because you chose to live that way. No one else in the world, in America, forces you um, to be uh, financially disabled. A lot of people choose financially disabled because their parents were financially disabled because they grew up and their dad worked all the time, their mom worked all the time, so they went on to live that way themselves. It's time to make a change. Jump on DouglasCrabtree.com, look at a couple offers, tell me what you think. If I'm not the real deal, then let me know about it because I want to know why.